Hey everybody, welcome back to Digital 6 Covered. Appreciate you showing up. Today we're looking at the Ruger RPR. Ruger's Precision Rim Fire. This is in 22 long rifle. Comes in a couple other calibers as well. But today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. On top of here, we got the Vortex HD, four and a half to 27. This does come with a threaded barrel, so you can run a suppressor. You will need to add a Picatinny here, M-Lock style, so you can add a bipod as well. One of the things that I really enjoy about this rifle is it is very accurate. Some of the things that you're looking when you're looking for rifles out there, uh, you know, Ruger makes really good quality firearms. Some of the things that they do is they, they make them cheap enough and cost effective enough that most of us can go out there and actually pick up one of these and enjoy the day shooting with it. Some of the things, how they save money is to basically spend a little less time on polishing parts, making them a little bit smoother, like say some of their competitors that are cost, you know, maybe another $400 to basically get the same rifle. So the action on the bolt um, was fine when I got it, but some of the things I wanted to upgrade is I wanted to be able to just have a nice quick bolt, a little bit smoother, a little nicer, and then also when you are running the bolt into the lock position, just a little smoother, less grainy. So some of the things you can do is you can get your Dremel tool with some polishing uh, heads on it, some polishing compound. So for this video, I'm gonna take the bolt out. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. And it definitely helped a little bit, even looks a little nicer. So those little things that uh, you may or may not want to go out and spend that extra money on a, a firearm that's already had all the work done to it to be nice and smooth and maybe a jeweled bolt and all that kind of stuff. Well, we're going to be able to turn this thing into a, not that it's not right now, but even a better, smoother little firearm to use. So hope you enjoy the video. So now we're on the left side of the rear. There's a button right here to release the bolt. So what we'll do is we'll bring that slide that back, push that button, and there's gonna be two catches. So we'll get past the two. All right, so in order to do this, in order to get it all polished up and to make it look really nice, we're gonna to need to take a few things off of here. So We've got the cartridge positioner spring, which is this one right here in the front. And what you can do is it has a little clip on this side and it comes around this side. So you can kind of just get a small screwdriver under there, kind of pop it up, make sure it doesn't fly away. And now we have the cartridge position spring. Uh, the cartridge position spring. Now there is one more. This one is actually uh, basically the bolt stop spring clip. And this is if you want to be able to have just a short action or if you want to practice, you can take this out and you can actually slide the bolt back farther if you wanted to basically train for your center fire. So now I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna attack this side. You'll see a little T right here. I'll try to zoom in later. And uh, basically that piece right there. Hopefully the camera's picking that up well. So now that's out of there. Now I can grab, I can grab the extractor, put it to the side, and then the tricky part comes. So we have a pin, let's see here. We have the, a pin right here. And this is the rear bolt retaining pin. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we need to get this out of here. So there's going to be a little bit of tension back here on uh, the firing the firing pin spring. We're going to basically knock this out of here. So what I did was I got a little piece of 2 by 4 And I'm going to take some of the tension off here. So I'm going to rotate it like that. Basically taking it from that notch to here. <clears throat> and that gives it a little more less pressure per se 
And then I'm going to use my handy dandy uh, punch. And this isn't a brass punch, so don't beat me up too bad, but it's what it is. And I'm going to use my trusty hammer. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and knock that pin through there. Now I'm going from the right to the left. And now the pin is pretty much just sitting there like that. I can actually I can actually get a hold of it now. So there is a tiny bit of spring tension on here. Just kind of push down with your thumb. And this actually comes out fairly easy. This is the rear bolt retaining pin or restraining pin. And then in here we got a couple pieces. We got the rear bolt. So that's the rear bolt. And then you got the firing pin spring. And you're going to see that a lot of this is polished up. So yours more than likely is all black right here. And uh, But we need to get this all apart. So let's take it apart. And then I'll show you what we did. <clears throat> and this is the firing pin. So basically it comes all the way across. So we're going to go ahead and this will slide out now. Kind of keep an eye. I remember how you put this together. You will see there's a little bit of oil on there. And uh, that basically fits like that. So remember that. So now you got the bolt front. Okay, everything is out of it. We are good to go now. So this is where we utilize the Dremel tool. I'll throw some video footage up so you guys can see what I did. But I basically just ran the Dremel with the buffing tool all across all the surfaces along here along the end up here as well inside of here polish this up there was quite a big difference between basically how it came and uh, the texture now is a lot smoother I do have some wear spots here I'm not sure what that's from and I don't know if that's picking up in the camera but it's right along here but that is not from the Dremel tool. That was from using it, I guess. So that's how you take it apart. Now to put it back together is pretty much the same thing. But before we do that, I made uh, sure to get all the flat surfaces I could and really get in there, get it to a high polish and uh, the best I could. All right, so you can see how nice and shiny that is. Right around here where the bolt actually, where's it at? This is actually the part here. As you're uh, racking the bolt between open and closed, this is going along here. So definitely polish this out. That definitely helps a little bit. Now the fun part, we'll put it all back together. So this is the rear. This needs to go in here like this. And then like that. And we're just gonna slide that in. And it's basically the same process as we, we ended. So we'll do this rear portion first. And we're just going to push this forward like that and throw in the cut or the pin. Bump this with the screwdriver. Now you can see that it's mostly in. See it hanging out. This needs to be seated in, in on both ends. And now I'll give this a little tap. Alright, so it's flush on that side, but that's not what you want. You want it centered in between. So see how this one has quite a bit of 
area still and this side's flush right there I'm gonna actually continue going so we're gonna hammer this in a little more just so it is not gonna catch now this is a steel punch and you're not supposed to do this and you're not supposed to scar the firearm I don't really mind as long as it's not ruined that's perfect so we got even spacing on both sides now the easy part all right so I changed the angles hopefully this will help there's the extractor I'm gonna put that in on the right side right there make sure it fits right right where we want it and then we grab the cartridge positioning positioner string so you can see it's got a hook on this side and then you see this little T you see how it's got little ears on it let's try it this way put this end here where it goes and slide it across and it should clip in just like that hopefully that made it on camera but now you should have this but you'll notice that this is a lot more polished go to this side get it hooked in there and then drag this side across and then it clicks in hopefully you saw that as well all right so now we've really had a chance to uh, basically make this thing shine up along here all inside of here where the bolt when it's moving back and forth this is going across it this is basically the firing pin under here you see the spring this is the other portion of it this piece and this piece are the same but it definitely looks a lot smoother so that's just a quick easy fix for the Ruger RPR the Ruger precision rim fire Hope you guys enjoy that. See you on the next one.